Um, one of the things that you're going to notice that I've done here, um, and this is probably, I would say, major tip number one, is taking advantage of the quick properties. So the quick properties that I have down here is this, uh, this icon right here. And what I've done is I've come up here um, on this quick property dialog box, and what you can do is you can come in and customize this. So I've gone in and I've customized this so that when I select a Kogo point, it shows the point number, the raw description. So you can see here that they're trying to shoot two building lines, building one and building two at the same time. Uh, they have a, it shows me the style so I can quickly change the style of the point and the label style. I can also see other information like what primary point group that this point belongs to. And right now it belongs to the all points point group. I've got a label rotation, a marker rotation. I can turn the, la uh, the label off as well as the leader attachment of how that's controlled and whether the leader's on or off. And then I also got some other features. We'll talk a little about these. These are attributes for our storm and sanitary systems that will actually help with our invert and labeling. So we'll come back to those. But you can see here that when I select a point, it automatically turns on that quick um, property toolbar. And I can move this around, bring it to where I want. Now the other thing that I've done is there's a variable. And that variable, if I right click on this and I go to properties, and you can get to this a couple different ways. It's the sys add variable. You can see here is that if I click up here, I've got that set to one rather than plus, which is by default it's set to a plus so that when you select an object, an object, an object, it keeps them all selected. I've chosen to go this route of having it set to one so that I don't have to hit the escape key when I wanna look at this point and then come over here and quickly look at this point. I don't have to hit escape. If I wanna select multiple points, I can hold my shift key down and pick that other point. All right, so if I hold my shift key down, and I select another point, I can pick up more than one point. So you can see there I've got both points, they're both selected, and now I can look at their, their properties.